Hello YouTube, Suzanne's here and I'm going to do a tutorial for you today. So I'm going to teach you the basic stages of modeling, like the first uh, part you want to need to know. Um, so on the screen here you see this logo which I made for someone. I'm going to show you like the how to do the vectors and nice um, like pointy things, which is really easy to do. So first of all, let's just do the first part in Cinema 4D and just worry about the Photoshop later on. Let's delete these to start again. Okay, so I'm going to get a Torvus. I'm going to rotate this. Ooh. Make it a bit smaller. Now you're going to on the, you see this little orange uh, dot here. We want to reduce the size of the ring. Um, so before we do anything else, I am going to uh, make the middle section. So get the a sphere. Make it to the size of the ring. Now, um, if you look on the side view for this, hit C and it will make it like this. I don't know what to call it. Um, and then go to your chords over here and the bottom one here, the Z. Just reduce the size and it will go flat. Okay. So um, now uh, we got that, we want to make the little matrix style things. So on your torus, you might want to make the that um, what we want to do is go over here to your selections which you can different style collection you can do the points and all that I want to go down to the bottom one here the, the square orange square on the top you want to go um, hit on this little selection here ball thing um, and then you can like individually select the different ones you want to alternate and change so I'm going to do a loop se selection for this so go to select loop selection and it will select different loops you could, or you could just do the normal select all and um, I'm going to do that actually, I'm going to do the normal selections for this so let's get the individual ones, that one holding shift click on the ones you want shift makes it join together like this and you can also colour like this as well, if you select them all and then place the colour on to the object it will only uh, colour the bits which are highlighted which is very cool which I might do before I uh, make it look cool. So I'm going to add uh, this to it, to colour it like that. Add a red to it though, like that. Um, and now we're still selected, right click, go down to matrix extrude, and then just drag it out, not in, out, like so. And you can change the diameters and the change all the things over here. Just do what you want with it. Make the points bigger, longer, bendy like that, it screws, like that. Oh. Okay, this looks a bit weird. Okay, uh, I'm going to say that's done, I'm going to leave it like that. Looking pretty cool. Okay, um, so now we're going to do the inner part, um, so I'm going to do it on here, just to add a bit more depth to it, that one, that one, and that one, and that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, this one's going to look weird, make it go in maybe, or you can make it go out, whatever you want to do, maybe to the side to make it come out. So obviously, is that, maybe it's not going to come out because obviously it's gone, it's a flat image. Yeah, look at that, looks pretty cool anyway. Um, so I'm going to add a colour to these, so the outer ring I'm just going to add this one here. This will pack up in the description with this all these files, which I'm just, well when it's finished I'll give it to you. And I'm going to add the red to the intersection. So look what that looks like. It's almost like a disc type thing. It's got like little vents in the middle, it looks really cool. That red's a bit harsh, I'm gonna change it a bit. Maybe add a different colour. See what that looks like. That looks really cool. Okay, so now it's the Photoshop part. Um, when making your logo, make sure that the image size of the document is really high, so like 3000 and like that. Um, so I've got it here and I'm going to make a random logo 
Um, what level should we do? Um, just make a smiley face. Like that, and then I'm going to cut out different sections. So I make a new layer. I'm going to make the eyes. So if you click here and click there, and then uh, join back with the points, and then drag, it makes like a cool eye. Right click, fill path, white, and put it over the eyes bit. Now to cut out the eye from the back, the bottom layer, the black layer, you want to control and then hit on the picture icon of the eye. Then go, when it's selected, go down to the black uh, below layer and then click delete and it will delete that section. Now I'm going to edit, transform, flip horizontal and then do exactly the same thing for the other eye. Control, hit that, delete. Okay, so we've got a cool little face we're going to export. So holding control, click on the picture icon as well again and then it'll make the selection go to paths and click this little dotted thing at the bottom I can't really see it there, there you go, that thing here and it'll make the work path then go to file, export, paths to illustrator and just save it wherever you want, save it to desktop ok so now that looks really good <laughs> go to export it into file, merge, desktop and then get the file you got, it's the AI file it's here. Oh, why can I play a bit? Oh yeah, make sure you've got the selection on the right one. Okay, so let's put this above. I extrude it. Uh, go in there, and then extrude nerves, and then drag the thing you, which you've made, the picture of the face, whatever, onto it, and uh, extrude this out. And add a caps. So about three caps. Looks good. The size a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Uh, make sure it's in the middle. Um, leave it like that. So you can still see the vents in the background. Okay, I'm going to make this a uh, different colour. What should I do? The same colour as the ring, but maybe a little bit different. More grey, more, more red. Let's see what that looks like. Cubic. Hmm. Looks pretty cool. Um, so let's make some spikes on this. Make it a little bit more coolio. Um, so I'm going to hit C. Remember to rast. I think it's rasterize the layer. Let's cool it. I get this select tool again, make sure you've uh, on this one here select loop selection you can loop it all right click, matrix extrude oh that's really weird there you go so it's like joining up with the back background you can increase the sizes and stuff, whatever you want in here like that Okay, that's cool. I'm actually going to keep the original colour I use, which is red. Okay, um, whoa, too much. Okay, um, can add more stuff to this. It's pretty easy when you get the hang of it. Add another, another one. Add it into the inside. Move it back a bit. Control C. And that's it. Cubic. Okay, and let's just try and do some else to it as well. Maybe a loop selection will do. Yeah. Select loop selection again. Okay, selected. And you can do other stuff. You can do like the bevel, extrude, like that. I'm just going to keep it with matrix. Just so cool. Things going out. Make a little indent. Okay, cool. Add another red to this just to give it some the same as the the look on the face. Okay, now let's have a little that looks like. I'm gonna pause it and then make it render. Okay, so there it is, fully rendered. 
Um, looks pretty cool, the eyes look a bit weird. And maybe the logo needs improvement, but yeah, that's the basic idea to how to model in Cinema 4D and export in from Photoshop. I hope you like this tutorial and uh, give it a go yourself. Remember, the f this file, which I've just finished now, will be in the description so you can take whatever you want, the materials, whatever, use the Lightroom to your own advantage. Um, so, yeah, basically, give it a like and comment, please, guys, and um, I'll speak to you next time. Peace.